Now to our series, we call it Changing the Game, where we highlight extraordinary women who are making a difference now and for future generations. This morning, we're very excited to introduce you to 25-year-old Nadia Okamoto. She is the co-founder and CEO of August. It's a lifestyle brand that aims to stop the stigma around periods, and it specializes in offering eco-friendly period products with wrappers that can dissolve in water. Some days we're on top of the world, and we're feeling unstoppable, but then, whoops, it's that old familiar feeling again. No need to worry at all, it's sustainable. August got your back, August got your back. August got your back. Earlier this year, August announced the sale of its products in more than 400 Target stores nationwide. Wow. Okamoto has been very vocal about ending taxes. Look at her on period products. And Some she good placement there. Access, I like it, to period care is a basic human right. She joins us now to discuss. Nadia, I'm so excited to see you to have you. You look great sitting at the table in the orange. Thank I love it. you. She was telling me, guys, she got this outfit two days ago in London at a vintage store, and it works. Yes. Wow. It works. Thank you. It's a good but, pickup. But this is what you say. You say August is, uh, the aim is to reimagine and redefine the period experience to be powerful and dignified. And to that, I say to you, Nadia, where were you when I was 11? <laughs> when I first got my period, my mom was away, and my grandmother was babysitting, and I went to her. I said, I don't even know what's happening. Number one, the color is, you even discuss about the color. I didn't know what that was in my panties. And she said, oh, you have to wait till your mother comes home. And I thought, am I dying? What is happening here? Because back then, it was not discussed. Mm. And you don't want girls to have to go through what many of us went through. Why? I mean... I because periods make human life possible. Yes. It's potentially one of the most natural biological processes of life. And yet history and society has built up the stigma that makes menstruators feel so ashamed. Yes. It makes us feel like there's something wrong with our bodies. We're taught that period blood is this contaminable, like disgusting dirty, thing. Dirty, nasty, dirty. yes. And I think that it always breaks my heart to hear so many stories every day of young menstruators who get their period and have never heard about it, yes. right? Because yes. suddenly you think you're bleeding out. A lot of people think that they poop themselves because yes. period blood can be brown and they don't know that. Yes. And period blood isn't just liquid too, it can be clot. So we hear stories regularly of people thinking that like, a piece of their heart came out. Oh, it's just, gosh. it can be so scary if you don't know the details of it. So what did you think, I'm gonna do what? Well, so I got into this almost 10 years ago. Next year's my 10-year work anniversary. And you're 25. I'm 25, yes. but when I was 16, I learned about period poverty through conversations I had with homeless women and my own research and heard these stories of people using things like toilet paper, brown paper grocery bags, cardboard to take care of their periods. And at the time in 2014, 40 states in the U.S. had the tampon tax, which is a sales tax on period products, considering them luxury items, like yeah. non-essential goods, yes. but products like Rogaine and Viagra are considered medical necessities. Right. So that all the way to other legislation like Food stamps don't cover period products as, ne as necessities. Um, so I got really interested in period poverty as an issue. And I think in school you're taught that when you find an issue you care about, you find an organization to volunteer with. I was doing the research and couldn't find. There was an organization. There wasn't so one. You started one. What, do, what, do you, what is this you have? So this is August. So I led this nonprofit for about six years, working on the advocacy side. I wrote a book about the issue and the menstrual movement. And I read some of that, by the way, and it was really good. Thank you. Very eye-opening, especially for men. Oh, good. I mean, especially I, for men who have daughters, too. And I think yes, that's good that yes. men are talking about this. Yes. And boys, this is a good conversation for boys. My son is now 35, but when he was 11 or 12, I sent him to the store to buy a product. He's yeah. like, ew. Yeah. And I thought, that's the wrong reaction. Action. Yes. You said it's just going to go buy it. some pads. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another product on the shelf. for life. <laughs> Come on. No, but that's what we have to change. But that's the problem. Exactly. Yeah, that's the problem. We have to change that. Some pads, if you must know. <laughs> yeah. But we, so August to me is the result of spending years in the space identifying pain points, whether they be around sustainability. Like, mm -hmm. I grew up hating pads. Most pads have enough plastic for like three to five plastic bags, right? Yeah. So very scratchy, very uncomfortable, but also wanting a period positive, gender inclusive brand. So mm. we are August, wanting a gender inclusive name. On the back it says we're here for everyone who menstruates. Uh -huh. And I think especially in this age of transphobia, it really means a lot to us to be proudly a gender inclusive brand. But Everything about the product we try to be super thoughtful about from uh, how we design it to be as comfortable 
comfortable, as absorbent as possible, but also as sustainable as possible. So, yeah, so with the water, what, what, I'm, I, I'm not sure what's happening here. What I get to do, do a fun little demonstration. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, well, because think about all. You the, have less than two minutes. Yes. Go, okay. Go, go, <laughs> Let me go show Nadia, you. Go. It's like kind of an immediate thing. Okay. So I have okay. my hot water. Uh -huh. Yes. Here's the pad wrapper. Okay. Yes. And you know. Plastic, an issue of that is it really doesn't break down. Uh -huh. And so a really big part of what we wanted to do as we were figuring out ways to improve sustainability is just having materials that are more easy, easily able to be compostable. So these wrappers are BPI certified compostable. You can put them in your wow. municipal at home compost. Um, oh. And I think for us, it really is just showing like, Oh, that it just dissolves. Oh, it dissolves. So, that it dissolves. And, and then you just okay. pour that down the drain? People can, but also I think a lot of it is not a lot of people are gonna dissolve every pad wrapper they use, but for us it's demonstrating, hey, we took every part of the pad, figured out how to make it more sustainable. And that so, absorption is pretty good? Absorption is amazing. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, proof videos on TikTok. No, where, which you have shown. Yes. That's where I go, I don't know if I wanna see all that, Nadia, but yeah. you're saying, <laughs> but you're making a point. You're making a point of well, how well it is. Gail, if you ask me how well the pad works, why yes. wouldn't I show you how it literally <laughs> works with real period blood? Yeah. So, um, it might be gross to look at, but I would, that's the word. Yeah. But, but I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm I know. I'm up with your point. Yes, down. exactly. So, but this is really. Don't pick it up. A lot of people will just <laughs> take them off and just put them in their compost. So, you know, if they have compost with the city or at home. But I love that you're doing this. Yeah, and no, I love good. that yeah. you're doing it out loud. And even your TikTok videos. You know, I, I think there's a lot of shock value there, but it does get people talking about that's it. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's very important. Yeah. So, listen. It's I'm, everybody talking about yes, it. Yes, yeah. I'm cheering you on. Right I think it's that. awesome what you're doing. Nadia, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you.